Hey everyone, welcome back to this humble channel. Today we're playing some more Astronaut the Best, and we're about to influence the greatest show in the nation, Foster, to have some romance in Space Wolves. That's right. Let's get cracking. It's on the end of this week, and we are doing that for sure. She will always spend that, I guess, in the start of the week. That's alright, I guess. <laughs> If she's not spending 100k, 200k, I don't, I don't care. I just don't care. Um, do we have a new shop now? Yes, we do. Let's buy the important stuff. I'll buy this for now, and later in the week I can buy the rest if I need. Um, let's try a bit. You guys will still need charm, and let me just make sure. Here you guys need charm or procedure, right? So what we want to do is you got a nice procedure. Today we have beauty test if we want to take. Um, you're stressed. I'll let you rest, I guess, and then I'll have you have procedure. Let's take some charm. I guess I should try to make them more balanced. Um, that's a beauty test. You not do that. You take some procedure, and you get some procedure. Let's go. So let's train everyone hard today, since no one is stressed. Nice. This is the way. You get some procedure. You too, my friend. Great. Let's see what's today is Evan. Okay, stress. Once again, your astronauts have a chance to hobnob with the luminaries of Space Wolf already. Tonight's the script reading, though they will be a bit busy, there's still plenty of time. Alright. Let's do that. Now, which astronaut will you send this time? Um, is it charm or what? It's the charming procedure one already. I'll send you. It's 14. She's already their friend, so. Let's influence them. Alright. We need time to work her magic, so keep your eye on the. Alright. The same deal as before, let's find a common man this time. to make a more effective PSA, search for reason, common man, turn of the show, let's focus group for trashy, alright, let's do that. There must be some angle to show the common man wants a trashy romance. Oh my god, that's bad. That's so bad. Yep. I don't even know what a boy this is. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. I see the naughty innuendos you exchange with your wife. Get away from my wife. Okay. <laughs> Great. I like that. Um, Let's try talking to the executive producer.
Must be cancelled. Oh, I don't want that. Oh, let's try doing that. <laughs> Seems very talented and attractive. Thank you for noticing. You know, he has always had a fondness for space and what. Well, maybe the FRSA could offer him a ticket straight to history. As a first person to this. Yep. That would be a lovely gift. I assume you would want something in return. Approve more moralist reaction. Approve more romantic. Yeah, that's it. The crew thinks the show could use a little more romance. They have a rewrite in mind. They know how I feel about changing the direction of the show. However, I'm willing to show them some trust, much as you've shown my rod. Okay. I bet he's horrible. I guess you deserve to be the first person in space. Just show me, show me your stats. Just show me your stats. Drink the five and all the moves in heaven. <laughs> this is just what I expected. I bet all his hidden traits are bad. Yes, I'm sure. Got some changes in that three before it enters. Huh? Such drama across both fiction and reality. Okay. As it is now, it seems like we are doing alright. Tomorrow is the final chance for Mon Astro to influence the show. Okay. Alright. When they will visit and it's market day. Which is always nice. Oh, I already knew that by now. That he has kids as well. As one of questions rule around the season finale of Space Wolves. Last night was the cast script reading. In Holy Helm Mock, okay, let's see what we did. A local charity, sorry after the event, alright. The finale may have more twists than even the most deranged of the fans may have predicted. Oh, I think I just need him on board, and everything's alright. There you have it, darling audience. The news and entertainment, you can rely on the eye. As far as, so far so good, right? Um, Just like we're doing something right here. Yep, sell me some goods. Just do that. I want that. I want that. I want the fortune cookie. And get out. Just get out. Now let's see how they are. Not stressed here and there. Okay. Let's train you a bit. Um you will train in procedure you are getting some rest you are training oh no um you're training procedure then i guess yep you are training you're with your kids of, of course you are training i will not train you i will if i can i'll dismiss you just after the show so i don't care I bet I can't, but I'll try. Right? Yep, and that stress release. I 
I have great news. I've been working on my poetry. Oh god. Your astronauts totally have to read my poems in public or on television. Um Man, that's a lot. <laughs> she is a lot. I'll refuse. Yep, I don't care. Get out of here. So I will visit and let's recruit someone. Not yet, I guess. Um first things first. You got a lot of charm. You're not stressed. You're not bad. You will rest. You will rest. Or I could train. No, I'll rest. And you, I'll reduce your stress with spells. We have a stress ball. I'll use it. That's good enough. Great. And then we can go. Yes, go on. Yep. Now we must influence the last person in the cast. Wardrobe fitting, okay. I hope you've made your plans. You have one last chance to make them reality. Now which astronaut will be yep. It's her again. Let's do that. We have two hours. Let's go to the sketchy production assistant. Hey. Let's chat with you. Ask what he thinks about the show. The same as anywhere else. Bunch of palms in the machine struggling for power when the system okay. <laughs> a bunch of rats in a burrow all fighting their way to the top, just like Auntie Foster wants. He's a very revolutionary kind of. You got some kind of government job, right? You're part of the problem. You're part of the barrel. Okay. Radius Rodella about Noble Savage. See the tribesman in old times? Okay, so he's got this mentality of the the enemy. All this television, all this government. It just causes problems. But you didn't hear this from me, you got it? Okay. Let's chat with you some more. Let's... Ask what his job is. Smart woman. You know the PA is the one with all the real power. What do I do? I see things, I hear things, I bite my tongue. Because a revolution was gone up. Jack, it's coming for Space Wolves and it's coming for you. And when it does, I'm not gonna be one of those Borgosi pigs with their pants now. Oh no. I'll chat with you some more. Um, what if you have something against Roper? Isn't Roper kind of the leader of the set? Do you think he's not doing a good job then? Oh yes, now it's Roper. The foolish fiddle king who fiddled while his people drowned. He calls himself a leader, a creator, but he doesn't even know about the problems with society. Well, guess what, Jack? The people aren't gonna take it. They're not gonna stand by and be oppressed, okay? They're not gonna stand by and be oppressed by his beautiful la la la. Uh, why all this beautiful? See me and some stage heads and extra during the finale? But I've said too much, unless of course you're not as square as I thought. Help this robot in exchange for influence on finale. Encourage him to set his sights higher than 
assume set, get an exclusive, new job, work in inside track. Oh, alright, I think I should get rid of him. I think he's gonna do something worse than I'm, I'm. Like, I think he will kind of destroy the show. So, I'll try to get him a subversive new job. You know who would really appreciate your style? High Priest in Sidetrack. Oh, why the hell, finger to to say to him. Let me give him a call, he's got an offer for you. Flappy, my man, I heard you have a serious talent for subterfuge and undermining. Oh, I'm going to bring down the man, alright? And it's looking to me like the man is you. Ouch, my man. You know I'm all about starting a revolution, disrupting the system, okay? Look, you're against the economy and all, right? What if I told you I need help ruining some capitalism? Listening? Oh yeah, I got here a list of some mom and pop shops that are pure bad news. You put them out of business and I'll send okay? For the revolution, you know, the savage nobles and all that. A hundred, a thousand K per shop? I want that job. Okay. Now the only one we didn't influence was the common man. I'll try again just because. Talk them into asking for a PSA. We want to make more effective PSA. Let's do this one. There must be some angle to show the common man wants a PSA. Oh, that's great. We'll do that. Come on. <laughs> of course. We want more PSAs all the time. I know what that means, that sounds risky. What I'm hearing you say is that you have an insatiable need for PSAs in your television. Hey, I don't like that, stop those words, get away from me, okay? After the final dressing and undressing, they start as rest assured that of their looks and all begin to depart. Isn't the space program wonderful due to do this unique opportunity to participate in culture? Next up is the final itself, the finale itself. You finally learn the results of your thoughtful machinations, machinations. Don't forget that your astronauts will be on set. All right. So today's Rulu. She will visit. Let's see the influence we had. So they had the feeling Space Wolves has suffered a small blow. Loss of production system. Rumor has it that the FRSA saw potential in the crewman and found him a job. Alright. The show's loss may be our nation's gain, but its fans can only hope the finale will forge ahead. Alright. That will happen, it's gonna be alright. I just need to get him out. So he will not try to make a revolution during the show. Okay. Let's see what will happen. We have two days, I guess. Is this it? Yep, today and tomorrow. So let's see how they are. You got charm. You got... Alright, let me see one thing. Does that say how many... People sin. I bet it's only two, and it's eleven that I need. Uh, you got eleven. Yep. You got nine. Who's the strongest? It's also you, and you're not getting ready in both. So what I'm doing is, let's train you in charm. Let's get a little bit more, and you train in strength today um i have money i should try to make you stronger and then hmm, i'll get to a makeover sure a lot of money but that's all right let's train you nice 
Let's get you the makeover. Your train. And you too, right? So if we have to send two, we already know who the two are. Just so you know, the FRSA's mission is completely without precedent. Humankind has no knowledge of space. This extends not only to extraterrestrial life, but to its effects on laws and physiology, chemistry, physics, and many take tech for granted. As Ministry of the Great Book holds that the FRSA has an obligation to attain this knowledge, okay? <coughs> Let's promise to do that. Um, I promise. Alright. Okay. Let's do it. So we go to the mission directly. Uh, let's see how they are. You got the charm. You got the strength. Nice. I can get your procedure. I will see that. We can get something else. Not really. So let's get Kevin, Mirrors, Procedure, um, Trade. Right now. With the Fortune Cookie that cast on her sure and it is an astronaut killer that's actually great for us for now goldie cavern mirrors is the true identity of infamous serial killer known as targeting astronauts on the bright side uh, serial killers are often known for charming and this one knows a lot about space travel. Okay. We should try to kill everybody on the flight. We will discover in the future. Um, what else I want is let's visit the shop. Let's spend all the money on stuff that will be useful, like fortune cookie and stress ball. Yep. And now we can go for the mission. It's time, man. Right. It will be you and you. Sure. It's final time, the season finale of Space Wolves is about to come on. The astronauts are on set and ready to help out, help out. I can't wait to see what happens. Me neither, so. The all seeing eye is doing a special about the filming, so let's turn that on first. As always, right? The finale, here we are. It's time to make them make a romance. I can't wait for that. Right? Let's see how it goes. The night on the All Sinai, a peculiarly savory treat for our viewers. The FRSA's astronauts have been advising the popular television show Space Wolves, and we must judge their progress. That means we're giving you a behind the scenes look at another show that is currently airing. So true Ignis, for one, I can't wait to see the big finale through the lens of astronautical involvement, okay? The cast and crew appear ready, the stage is set for the show to begin. So it's time. Without further ado, let's take a glimpse on Space Wolves opening scene. Space Wolves. 
We are seeing space wolves. But they're wolf. I bet you've got something to say to me. I've got an evil plan, right? So watch out for that. An evil plan? You say? <laughs> I'm making the same voice now. Where is Hopper with the script? This is beginning to test my stealing skills. An opening with Saul, Ignis, and one that some viewers may not have expected. What do you think? Illustrious audience, did it capture your elusive attention? Intriguing. We've arrived at the part of the episode where these astronauts metal, metal, uh, will be tested. Indeed, Ignis, the F FRSA was in charge of making sure battle scenes were aeronautically and uh, taumaturgically accurate, alright? And now the finale biggest battle scene seems to be brewing. Let's drop in, shall we? But I don't want them to battle, so what am I doing? Did I already fail? Like This is it, the final battle begins. The traitors may have opened a portal from space into the parliament, but they didn't count on us taking a fight to them in space. Surely the audience is ablaze with the anticipation of the upcoming fight scene, and so we must know. Uh, let's advise them. Sure, it is in smarts. You're doing that. How well did Kevin Mirrors prepare the actors to act realistically? Let's see. Gracious, I dare say I learned a thing or two about astrophysics from that battle. Say what you will about the FRSA, it appears they know their thing with space fights. There's one more procedure than just a nice fight. It takes a lifetime of effort. So she takes some experience. Nice. The battle has ended, but there's still some still time left. Okay. Put a dramatic twist uh Hopefully, we will have a twist now to the love scene. Right. Then Hopper's missing, but I have to give Serene the romantic arc she deserves. And that's it. And that's that's our part. That's what we worked for, Serene. You know that humans at heart are really wolves? Give into our wolf powers and help us bring an end to indulgent human civilization. Oh wolf, the others will look at you and see only monster, but I see the human heart beating inside you. I will surrender if you do to this feeling inside to love. <laughs> Well, this one twist that I didn't see coming. I must reserve judgment until... Yeah, 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 let's make that happen. Well, that was a twist that we certainly weren't expecting. I did defy... Did defy... Did it defy our predictions as well? The roast audience? With that, there isn't much time left in the episode. Let's take a peek to learn how it ends. Serene... What were you doing in space? I told you it was too dangerous there. Come on, be reasonable. Let us return to the bunker to consummate our marriage of convenience. No, my place amongst the stars. My heart runs with the wolves. We detect that our collective unconscious contains some hope and excitement about space? Mm. It can't be just me, right? So we did it. Before the show could turn off the cameras, an astronaut is sprinting onto the stage. Is this a problem? 
We were told that the FRSA had an important message to deliver tonight and this might be their last chance to do it. Okay, that's great. But if they want to have their say, there's this astronaut who will need the fitness. <laughs> to avoid security? Okay. <laughs> nice. So, you were going for sure. With us to judge is this common man. He can rate the astronauts form in trying to interrupt the show. <laughs> I'm happy just to be here, of course. Ignis, now we can see that the astronaut sprinting to the set is none other than Cody Kavan Mirrors. Who Kavan Mirrors evade security and make it in time? Hopefully. Nope. <laughs> Was that part of the show? Was that the astronaut a wolf too? Did I miss the part where the astronaut was a wolf? Are the astronauts all wolves? Or are they just doofuses who get tackled? With that out of the way, the end credits roll, the season of Space Wolves has ended. Okay. What to think of tonight's proceedings? How about we ask a special judge to help out? The Connoisseur is one of the nation's foremost television critics. Let's ask about the show. What do you think about the future of Space Wolves after tonight's finale? The new romantic angle breathes new life into a show that had become cold and passionless. Can a space monster be a romantic hero? For too long, the cowards in Flaustrian television lacked the gumption to answer. In this man's opinion, it would be a crime if Norris Hopper were not allowed to explore it in depth. Infinitely interesting. Of course, Space Wolves isn't the only item to judge today. The FRSA also stands at the crossroads, of course. Our guests will certainly want to answer us about some of the unusual twists of tonight's procedure, proceedings. Let's find out which astronaut okay. So now we will need... Yep. Charm and it's you. Finally. Your time to shine. To me, the interesting part of this episode was when the FRSA astronaut was tackled attempting to break in onto the set. It's almost as if the FRSA was willfully attempting to sabotage Flaustria's most popular television program. Care to comment, Imogen Sporting? A fair question. What say you, Imogen Sporting? Do not disappoint me. Just do not disappoint me. Yo, my girl, you do that. Let's do that. Come on. Yeah, that's nice. I see, you were simply trying to help the show. It's true, you saw how muddled their storyline was becoming. Don't pretend like you wouldn't have intervened if given the chance. To do so would be a gross violation of critics' code, but I suppose you're not bound to. So, um, often have dreamed, dreamed of intervening in Wayard Entertainment. It is an admirable instinct in a way. Okay, for some reason. And we got some glory back. Though the season of Space Wolves has ended, my beloved goldfish, the all seen eye will still be here for you. When there are further developments in the saga of the FRSA, you can count on us to be okay. Until then, stay tuned and stay delightful. Okay, thanks. I, I thought that we would fail. Because I was expecting a sum of 100. Nice thing we passed. That's all the time we have. Thank you for watching and good night. So, looks like we're trying to go to space again. Thanks. Director, it's time to discuss your perform performance. Let's go. 
let the circle of judgment commence. In order for your program's spacecraft to function, you needed to prevent space wolves from ruining Flaustria's faith in space, of course. How did our citizens interpret this final episode? Were its effects as we feared? The season finale introduced a new angle of romance. Of course, I did that. I am a romantic man. Um, it showed that danger isn't always a bad thing. It's a necessary ingredient for exciting and sexy surprises. Just so you know, no matter how much the populace, the populace might fear space, a secret yearning for it deep inside is not something that will go away. You were bodily prevented from giving a public service announcement, so the episode's message stood on its way, on its own. The audience noticed the absence of the usual director Norris Hopper and did find it suspicious. Just so you know, if we believed it was possible to quantify your effect on belief in the space program, we might say your actions had an eff effect of 4 points. Just so you know, I get 4 points in something. What we mean by that is, your efforts were sufficient to restore faith in the space program. For science types, uh, they're saying the rock departs move now, that's new and different. The heavenly conveyance should have enough belief power to reach space, nice. That means we need not worry about silly television shows, nor about cancelling your space program, for now. We will not cancel it for this reason at least, <laughs> yeah I know, Five willing, the launch shall be in 10 days, nice. The judgment is final, this is the will of the five. Now that's out of the way, there's another thing or two we gotta mention. Now as for what we thought about the fi finale itself. Props for not ruining the nice TV show, you keep getting your space belief, and I keep getting my ad money, good deal. However, continuing as it was, the Austrians will likely still miss its political message, just so you know. Okay, the finale promoted improper morals and is unacceptable. I should not have to remind you that interspecies sinfulness is still sinfulness. With all due respect, I think it was so romantic. Okay. Meanwhile, that odd kid, Clepsy, has got a mind like a steel firearm. He's got a future in the Ministry of Limited Time Offers, that kid. Great. We got a lot of favor with him right now. There are other ways to pass that, that's interesting. Distance leak, people like us, we get it. The only thing that matters is the market, because the market pays, you know this? Welcome to the most exclusive club that anyone can ever join. Now every store in Flaustria knows you are no poor or poor sympathizer, and you'll get the choice discount you deserve. But this ain't no free sample, dig? The market needs you to keep doing what you're doing, or else, you know what's up. Okay, so we got the price for getting his favor high. And now it's the start of week 3, so this is where I'm leaving you guys. I hope you guys liked it, please leave a like, subscribe for more, and i see you guys next time. See ya!